Big brands may put in some of good budget and great minds to build brand awareness so that their brands are on top of mind when consumers are actually in need of it. But for small entrepreneurships, where the budget is tightly constructed to meet overflowing expense bucket, thinking of going with merely brand building idea will raise questions on strategy planning. An ideal approach is your brand communication to be available for consumers when there is a need, not just when it is convenient for you. Is it not therefore pertinent to discuss the right fabric? The brand should come fully clad before buyers. But beforehand ask yourself, do you prefer to have an advertisement available when your future customer needs it, no matter what? Advertising is considered a paid activity from an identified source and, nowadays, it is exposed to nearly all consumer classes through some of the other types of communication. Often it carries a preconceived notion that whatever shown in commercials or creative layouts in print or disruptive visuals on hoardings and bus shelters etc. are way far from the reality and hypothetically created to build salience around the brand. However, what goes in behind weaving a creative route into fabric of rendition is many a times overlooked unless the creative communication connects to the right audience at the right time and offers a solution to their most recent necessities. Before getting into detail of different types of advertising, it is helpful if you quickly run through a decision-making model. Everything that starts with the end consumers in mind is bound to evolve with robust action plan. Execution is the key to put your strategy work towards achieving your end goals. It requires to evaluate the strategies through major executional buckets, where you can make sure they deliver against each strategy. These executional buckets should have specific details like activity calendar, results, or expectations with clear budgets so as to help you with proper directions. Selection of a specific executional bucket must go by mapping each of these through their impact and difficulty level so as to drive bigger returns on efforts and investments. Now to decide upon how you can have an advertisement available when your future customer needs it, you must understand the difference between the two types of advertising, namely directional advertising and non-directional advertising. In coming part of this video we will understand both the types in more detail and view few examples of the same. Often an advertisement, which tries to create mere awareness in market, makes the advertiser gambling whether or not the ad has come at the right time in the right place, and chances are buyers wait either to get over it or forget the message in a day or two, because they are not ready for it. And when they are actually in need of it, the advertisement is put off hence the recall goes away. Big brands therefore, make sure of repetition of their advertisements in multiple channels for a specific period. Also come up with follow-up ads at periodic intervals to maintain the top of mind recall. In contrast directional advertising, as the name suggests, is that which sparks to an action in buyers as it not only comes at a time when they need to hear the brand message, but it also directs them where it is likely available at. Best vehicles that carry directional advertising includes print as in newspapers, magazines, yellow pages, directories etc, and online as in search engines, websites, online directories and SEOs. Now consider advantages of directional advertising seeing through consumer lenses, it reaches when she is looking for it, it provides precise information about your products or services, it highlights special points like any ongoing promotion or scheme, and this way it complements the consumer for making efforts research online and also builds your brand's presence and importance before her. Some examples of directional advertising are shared here. Please note, these creative layouts are shared for examples only and we hereby do not guarantee continuation of any of the communication carried by these advertisements.
non-directional advertising, also referred as creative advertising, on the other hand is a great way to create a need of a product category or develop a brand. It is mostly educational in nature and in a way tries to convince the buyers that there is a need for it, and most of the times it builds salience around the brand so that it helps to recall the brand exactly when the buyer is ready to purchase. Non-directional advertising can be taken as a scientific approach to build any brand from scratch. On the other hand it can also be taken as the act of digging realities present around buyers and giving justification for the brand purchased or to be bought following a planned communication roadmap. However, it requires the brand marketer to make a complete tour of the strategy and brand foundation before arriving at an advertising platform. It also requires the brand marketer to conceptualize the creative execution partnering with the creative or advertising agency, while applying control on strategy but allowing freedom on creative execution, so that the advertising agency builds that connection in TV commercials, or other creative layouts which truly works. Best vehicles that carry non-directional advertising includes television, cinema, newspapers, magazines, hoardings, billboards, online channels, social media and nowadays significantly content-oriented websites, blog posts, podcasts, YouTube and other applications. When we are discussing about creative advertising, is it not great to have a legend example of non-directional ad campaign, which had truly built the connection that triggered a sense of bonding in consumers? Imagine India in 1989, you will find the country in midway between the ideals of socialism and a more liberalized way of living life. Two-wheelers segment, after being dominated by the presence of scooters for more than three decades, was then slowly moving toward motorbikes, and then union budget on 1985 had opened up the economy allowing the entry of international brands in some sectors inclusive of auto. However, scooter was still the go-to vehicle for most of the families in India, but notwithstanding its popularity on 1989 the brand Bajaj was facing a stiff challenge to its supremacy. Standing on its way were brands like Honda, Yamaha and Suzuki. Two-wheeler advertisements in India seems to go with a sort of invisible blueprint, like they look like a cat on a hot tin roof, a little macho, impressing others on speed, mileage, fuel efficiency and moreover reflect, a statement of style. International brands were no way far from following similar blueprint highlighting style, speed, mileage, and the technology in their high-profile ad campaigns. Representing the country and its people were out of question, after all how could a two-wheeler capture the essence of a nation, and more so when it was India, so diverse geographically, demographically and sociographically. In spite of being under threat of stiff competition and their high-profile TV commercials, Bajaj's response was an advertising campaign following a very unconventional way, which truly set a new benchmark for Indian advertising. Even in the face of when competition was talking about latest specs and engineering, the brand Bajaj decided to click on something that probably no one else could have thought of, the fond of being an Indian. Let's watch the ad. हमारा बजाज हमारा बजाज बुलंद भारत की बुलंद तस्वीर हमारा बजाज हमारा बजाज It was not as if the scooter was doing something spectacular in the ad commercial but it was more of like a collection of slices of life from different parts of India while Bajaj scooter in common with all of them the ad could just have failed, but it succeeded not because it was so unusual, but it raised in audience notice which it had never been looked up to that, the brand Bajaj was a regular part of an Indian's life. While summing up, the idea of this vlog is about to discuss an ideal situation for small entrepreneurship, where the budget is tightly constructed to meet overflowing expense bucket, 
thinking of going with merely brand building idea will rise questions on strategy planning. An ideal approach is your brand communication to be available for consumers when there is a need, not just when it is convenient for you. Hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Do subscribe to OMA2019 to receive upcoming uploads on the channel. Blogging is indeed an innovative way of developing your brand's salience. Also when advent of technologies has conferred your competition with more access to information, more channels to find opportunities, and above all the luxury of being in high demand for their products or services. Besides a blogger who has experience in scaling content portfolio and has the ability to work upon different forms of research or opinion pieces can create contents with the objective of making your brand a thought leader in this space. This is not the end, as the blogger also understands that every stage in content development needs to have a definite purpose especially when the task involves communicating to the right audience at the right time in the most effective manner. So Mendery brings here my blogs and contents are such that matter the most in life of every human being.